Hello learners, welcome to Technofresh and as we know that we have, I have already published two blogs which is one is from the Drupal installation and the second one is the overview of the Drupal. So as I said like I will be going through each and every uh, work on of the Drupal CMS menus. So today we will be uh, covering how to install a contributed module or and configure those module if configurations are available for those those contributed module. So so basically we will deal with this menu extend. Okay. So where all the modules will be available. Right now these modules which you are seeing, as I said in the last blog, like these modules are from core installation this is the comes with the drupal installation itself so if we, we want to extend our functionality uh, in terms of some some specific functionality we can do it so today we will install um, external module which is al already contributed on the drupal.org so it depends on the functionality to functionality which module you want to install so right now i will be dealing with the two module one is web form module this web form module and one is coffee module okay so i let you know like what are the functionalities of this web form modules and the coffee modules and how to install on your your existing Drupal CMS so this is the basic installation I will be doing I have not gone to the advanced level so basic installation in your local profile I'm doing so what I'll do right now so I want to install this web form right so I'll go to this tar and copy the link file okay and here I'll go to the new module installation okay so there are two options upload the module or theme via like you can download this file and either you can give the FTP link okay I guess uh, this might throw in my local error let's say like I have already set my FTP server or not if it works then I'll do it the manual which I have downloaded it up. this I have downloaded this uh, web form so right now when you check the extend module uh, when you search extend uh, functionality when you search web form you can't find that module here right so i'll be going to install that module okay so i have copied this and i'll just uh, do a install okay this will fetch it if you're using the form url ftp server i have given then it will fetch it from this and the model will be installed was completed installed and it will say install web form successfully do you want to install another module or enable the newly added module so i can directly go ahead and enable the module from here but i'll go to the administrative page back and enable from there okay i want to show you that module is being added or not so now again we will search it again so web form so you can see this all the properties all the module related to web form is being added right so these are the functionality for the web form now what i will do i'll install the web form this module web form okay so this is the first module and with it will it this module is being required by this all the modules so these are the sub modules which are being given by web form where you can see that like web form demo web form examples web form deprecated these are the deprecated functions experimental so everything you can uh, miss like check the functionality so i'll what i'll do i'll just install this web form and and this web form ui okay
yeah you can see this waveform ui is also installed right so when you go to the waveform okay so this has been installed okay now if you want to uh, create a web form so you need to go to the here see this menu is being added web form is created previously it was only from block layout comment contact form content type display mode menu taxonomy views then this web form is being added and you can create your web form as per your requirement let's say like um, uh, subscription subscribe okay and uh, category i have given the nothing and status is open and save so this contact form is been created okay now source when you go to your this contact form view your contact form so you can see this the web form is being created okay so these are the many means like functionality to extend your model so this was the basic i have i have given example how to install the web form um, in fact how to install the modules in your current cms okay now now we will go to this coffee module okay now we will try to install this uh, drupal coffee module so same way i'll do it for you i'll just copy the link of that copy and i'll just install this module okay i will install the module and from here only i'll enable the newly added module okay the coffee module is being installed you can see you can install it from here so directly it comes to the extent and here from here you can install so the coffee module you can see the one more module has been extra came here so this is for the search the entire cms let's say like if you want to go to the content structure manually then you can click it here directly and let's say you want to go to the configuration part configuration yeah directly you can go there you got the point let's say i'll want to switch to the extend module so i can give my extend x yeah or directly update page or anywhere you can traverse to your uh, drupal cms so this module basically for the administrator use like to fast development and so and there is a shortcut key also to do that is the shortcut key is alt d so when you press alt in your keyboard and d then this pop-up will uh, search and now let's say like if you want to go to the color okay yeah content it came so let's say you want to go to the people all d people yeah people permission page roles page directly you can switch it so see you can see that this functionality is been integrated while after installing this coffee module so there are a lot of modules present in our d dot drupal dot org drupal dot org lot of modules are present in the drupal or are where you can search modules contributed modules dependent on depending on your for this like requirement okay so let, let's say a lot of modules gdpr modules quiz type modules many things are available like let's say some of the modules are like is it might be in uh, uh, sandbox so 
I, I would just suggest to you first install the contributed module with contributed module okay and that will be the very best uh, example to learn how to install the module on your platform okay so this is how we can install the module on your Drupal CMS and uh, let me know if you want to know uh, how to install the module or any confusion um, any any come any question regarding how to install the module on your Drupal CMS please comment back to this video and please uh, do follow my channel to know um, what technology you want to learn um, please uh, i will be posting a lot of technology uh, apart from drupal i will be doing covering other technologies too so i have just started with the basic so please do follow and go through and please do uh, hands on what i'm doing i'm not making much uh, big video i'll be making all the videos in between 5 to 10 minutes and it will be very easy to uh, go through the video and with a limited amount of time uh, thank you